Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at the coolest boss fights we've ever faced in Spider-Man games. First and final <laughs> Stay out of our way. Scorpion. Aha! Uh -huh. You didn't say the magic word. May I please have the... First off, this design for Scorpion in Shattered Dimensions is incredibly sick. This whole Xenomorph Predator mashup we got going on here is awesome as hell. As for the fight itself, it is a blast. While it isn't super challenging due to his limited number of attacks, the sound design shines here, and the God of War style takedowns are savage. And lest we forget to mention the stellar voice acting by John Kassir, Again, we wish this fight was a lot harder, and the hatchlings do make it a tad more challenging than the first fight, but overall, this fight was just fun. It was simply fun. Yes, hide. Then bring Brock to me. Be human again. Who is she, Kron? Who put you up to this? Wolverine. You're one of them. One of who? One of... Wait. You can smell the- Yeah, and you're one of them, bub. Say what you will about his design in Web of Shadows, encountering Wolverine and fighting him was a major highlight of the game. In a fit of mistrust, our favorite X-Men begins to lash out, and man, he does not let up. However, staying alive isn't your only problem. There are some light narrative moments where Wolverine will pause to get a check on your identity, and just in case things start getting a little too easy, the game throws in a bunch of symbiote-infected people to attack both of you. It's one long and epic throwdown, and rarely do we ever get to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a ferocious foe like our adamantium man. How can you stand walking around with some alien ringworm crawling around in your guts? It's not like that! Taskmaster. If you know my moves, you know I'm gonna wreck you. Surprise me if you can. Taskmaster's challenges in 2018 Spider-Man were somewhat daunting to endure, at least if you were trying to go for the gold, which I certainly did because I'm just OCD that way. Luckily, all you had to do was beat the bare minimum to get ambushed by the villainous copycat, and surprisingly, Taskmaster is no joke. As you'll quickly learn, he knows all of Spidey's moves, making it difficult not only to land hits, but also block his attacks. You will have to rely on some of your gadgets to stun him, just make sure you aren't making yourself too predictable on the offensive. Your loss, they pay six figures. Guess some people just deserve to be poor. Six figures? Bonesaw McGraw. Having fun yet? <laughs> No more Mr. Nice Guy! Now, to be honest, we're throwing this fight on here for novelty's sake, not gonna lie, okay? But this was just way too cool of a discovery. The game based on the 2002 Spider-Man movie featured a practice mode where you could beat up dudes inside the caged wrestling ring. Defeat enough foes, and you'll attract the attention of Bonesaw McGraw himself. Sadly, he does not look nor sound like Macho Man Randy Savage, and he does not put up much of a fight. Like we said, he gets on this list purely because of the novelty, not so much the required skill. I'm gonna teach you a lesson! Subtlety isn't in your vocabulary, is it? Sandman. <coughs> Jeez, talk about a dirt nap. Where's that? Looking for this, webhead? Whereas Scorpion required a lot of close-up and personal attacks, Sandman balances things out for players to properly immerse themselves as the webhead. It isn't enough for Spidey to just dodge and wail on Sandman, dodge some more and wail again. You're required to switch up your offense between standard brawling and flinging objects around. And then the grand finale with that massive sand tornado? Truly the best boss fight and the best level in Shattered Dimensions. Kill him now? No! Play with him a while. Don't give him a chance to escape! I want to make him suck! Super Venom. You are in way over your multiple heads. You and this ship are going down. When Venom showed up in Web of Shadows, we were itching to start throwing punches, man. Please, stop showing him and just let us duke it out. But this finale, this epic conclusion against Super Venom, 
The wait was worth it. It was so worth it. Spider-Man going against a Hydra-like incarnation of Venom? This was just way too freaking cool! The way you have to zip from head to head and tear out parts of the symbiote feels a lot like a God of War boss fight, and what a way to end a game like Web of Shadows. Now! Fire! Fire! Mr. Negative. You can walk away! No! Osborne must suffer! Oh, poor Martin Lee. We wanted him to become a force for good so badly, and yet, every politician has skeletons in their closet. In terms of gameplay, we're glad he became evil because it was an awesome multi-parter of a fight. First, you got the one-on-one -on -one duel with him, where he can unleash some beautifully violent attacks on you with his sword, but what really grabbed us was the part where he summons a giant Oni, while the both of you are in a demonic world completely void of color. Oh, what about how it ends? Oh, we'll get to him in a second, just you wait. Prowler. You underestimated me. We already knew that Miles was going to have to fight his uncle at one point or another, especially with how vague he was acting for most of the game. But let's set aside the narrative points for this one because damn, Prowler doesn't hold back. He'll constantly try to ambush you with sucker punches and gadgets. Much like Taskmaster, you'll need to utilize both environmental attacks and gadgets to deal with Prowler quickly. Also, you better have nailed the dodging mechanics. We're family. Family? That didn't stop you from lying to me, manipulating me, fighting me? Being family isn't enough anymore. Symbiote Black Cat. I've missed you. It's very sweet. Crazy. Maybe scary. In all fairness, most would argue that this boss fight can get unreasonably hard. Not only do you have to worry about Felicia, you also have to fight off the other symbiotes crawling up the buildings. As for this monstrous version of Black Cat, well, with great power comes an insanely tough boss. Her reach goes just as far as yours, and she can pull you out of attacking the other symbiotes easily. And then there's a whole section where you have to protect MJ while fighting Felicia and the other symbiotes. The fight may be long, but it was immensely satisfying to conquer. Stop! Venom. Felicia! Felicia! Mysterio. How low the mighty have fallen. You dare to challenge the infinite line of Mysterio? Easily the best boss fight of the movie-based games. You made us suffer enough, Fishbowl. You don't get three health bars and call it a day. Quentin Beck, I presume. Say cheese! Dr. Octopus. You're fighting the wrong man. But have it your way. When it comes to boss fights that hold both a narrative impact and a challenge in combat, Otto Octavius is the Mr. Freeze to Spidey's Batman. Even though we all knew his turn was inevitable, the moment this fight began, our hearts broke. As for the gameplay, Doc Ock lays down quite the test for players to show their understanding of not only the dodge mechanics, but also how to mix in regular attacks with environmental interactions and gadgets. Also, the fight is just visually stunning throughout. It's honestly going to be hard for the sequel to top this one. If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. Which Spider-Man boss fight was your favorite? Did it make our list? Let us know down in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Mojo Plays for more Spidey videos.